ethereal, minimalist, zen, some of the many definitions of Madame Butterfly in Bob Wilson's version. His production, now on at Paris's Opera Bastille, is already considered a classic, perfect to tell Puccini's Japanese tragedy, the doomed love story of Chocho San, a role sung superbly by Bulgarian soprano Svetla Vasilyeva. Cho Cho San can be called a rebel because she denies her own religion. As a consequence, she's rejected by her family, by her world. And yet, until the end, she finds the strength to go on and have faith. On the podium, Italian maestro Caligari, totally enthusiastic for this unconventional production. All the movements made on stage by our singers are strictly linked to the music. They're not random. Choreography plays a very important dramatic role and is linked to the music in a perfect way. There are moments in this opera that move me deeply. Bob Wilson, the stage director, asked me to play introvertly, inward-looking, and never to express emotions, which is very difficult for me as I'm an emotional, outgoing person. But I enjoyed doing it because it was something new to me. This opera is hugely rewarding, especially when you can conduct a great orchestra which follows you, your baton, perfectly, and knows how to breathe with you. An orchestra is also great when it understands exactly what you're asking. In this way, every single nuance hangs on to that extraordinary, invisible thread linking the baton to the stage. Puccini has put a lot of Italian soul in this opera, and this makes the protagonist a sensitive, passionate woman. Having said that, her suicide at the end is an act which is definitely linked to Japanese culture. Joker! Joker! 